take a direct. Yeah, that may be a good idea just to help us, but it's just I'm just thinking speed and, and spacing. That's why I don't I, I'm worrying about the whole star. I'm I'm just trying to go for spacing between myself and seven golf. So that's why I'm doing the whole thing. But how are you, Chris Lard, dude? Good to see you again, my friend. I hope you're well. Did I check the weather? Yeah, I did actually. I did check the meta. I need to bring some speed brakes out. I can't be bothered to bring it out manually. I'm just going to do it like that. I know that's cheating. But judge me. Just to help us with that speed, I'm actually going to call flaps one now. And then we'll go speed intervene to 200. Gee, thanks for the follow, dude. Much appreciated, matey. You're reserving on your escape. Okay, dude. Don't judge my landing, please. Please not judge. That's fine. And then I'm happy with his speed. And then we'll go back to 180. I'm just, again, spacing. It looks like... So far, everybody's got really nice spacing, if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully, we should be good. Maybe I'm going to go with auto brake level 2 just to help me maybe get off that runway just that little bit quicker. Um, if I need to, for whatever reason, for um, speed bird 51901 who's behind me. Oh yeah, for those of you who missed it the other day, we had the most hilarious arrival at uh, Orlando. And I uploaded it onto my YouTube and that video actually went live earlier on today. So if you want to see a very hilarious go around and arrival at Orlando, my YouTube channel is in the description. And I'm not just selling out by asking you to go and click it. It was actually a really funny landing. The weather was something I've never seen before in my entire life. But oh my god, this view. That is screenshot worthy. Look at that. Oh, I've missed going to Norway and looking at this view. My gosh. In the words of Tom the pilot, that is actually 10 out of 10. I don't know if you guys can see it on the stream. I don't know if the quality is good enough, but the precipitation and everything looks incredible. I don't know why it does that every time. Whatever. Right, I'm going to look at bringing my speed back once again to 180 now. I know, again, a little early. That's me for you. Welcome back, Homer. Hope flying was good, dude. And we'll arm the localizer now. And then I'm actually going to switch over to tower. Oh, no, no one. Two one kilo uh, behind the arriving Canada event seven three seven line up and wait for me one seven behind. Behind line up and wait behind the checkers come. A little loud. Let me just turn that down for you, ladies and gents. Go flaps five now. Good evening, Bergen Tower. Scandinavian 4605 with you at a 3,600 feet, and we are just inbound Bavlu now, about to turn onto the localizer for runway 17. Scandinavian 4605, that's not far. Good evening, sir. Continue approach for runway 17. Continuing approach 17 Scandinavian 4605. Scandinavian 7 Golf, welcome to Vietnam. Taxi to stand 25 via Hotel and Look at this, what a view. This absolutely. Taxi stand 25 via Hotel and Deco Scandinavian 7 Golf. Flying through clouds is wicked, isn't it? Don't worry, boxing dude, I'm notorious for landing badly, so uh, forgive me if my landing isn't the best, especially in these weather conditions. But I'm not going to make excuses, I'm still going to do my best. I'm just notorious for being a bit rubbish. Right, speed can come back now, let's do 160 to 4. Gradually bringing the flaps down. I don't need my speed break out anymore. Localizer's captured now, as you can see. Nine nautical miles to go. What is my VREF speed again? 
What have I clicked? What is that? Is it because my gear's not down? Cool. There it is. I was like, what the heck? 147. Oops. It's a 152. Yeah. Hey, Josh, Kilo, win the 150, the reset for not for the one for the one for the one I'm hoping this guy's quick. <laughs> hey, Tom, welcome, dude. Look at that view. My gosh. Scanning in 460, survive wind 150 degrees set for not swimming 170 degrees now. Clear to land runway 170, scan 460 Right, autopilot is out. Now what I'm going to try and do, just to help my speed a bit, is just to duck below the glide a little, because we're a tiny bit fast, nothing too much. But autopilot is out. Wish me luck then, guys. That view was phenomenal. And this is where things get interesting. Because my hand flying skills are notorious. There we go. Speed's coming back now, so I don't need to really duck below the glide too much by the looks of things. I'm completely off on the localizer. Not that that's anything new. And we're controlling the speed manually and everything, of course, on the 737. That This has been one of my favourite approaches I think I've ever done. I mean, like, the view out of here... Especially with the clouds and everything, and then you just like kind of appear through the clouds and you're just established on the runway and it looks incredible. Trust in the float, oh dude, I'm notorious for it. Absolutely notorious for it. Landing rate, I haven't got that open because I've pretty much stopped worrying about landing rate nowadays because I found that my landing rates were getting notoriously worse the more I worried about actually what my landing rate was going to be. So. In the hope that my performance improves, I'll actually turn them off. I'm going to bring that speed back down just a tiny bit, nose coming down, just trying to keep on the glide slope as much as possible. Absolutely stunning view though. And you can see some more traffic just up ahead. Nose up just a tad. Continuing. On the centre line though. Versus green. Seventy knots, sixty knots. Mickey with five hundred. Welcome, good sir. Thank you for the five hundred cheers, my friend. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream, dude. And thank you for the uh, nice landing compliments, my friend. I hope that was okay. That was all right for my first ever landing at Bergen. Scanning yeah, in four six zero five. Welcome to Bergen, Lesland sir. Or in English, welcome to Bergen, Lesland <laughs> Shui. Turn it down two six via Golf. And whiskey, sir. Thank you very much for the kind welcome and taxiing to stand uh, 26 via Golf and Whiskey with that for Scandinavian 4605. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen.